probably, like most boys, when I was young, I had an intense interest in magnets. I can remember playing with them, playing with magnets and with compasses, putting magnets on pieces of wood that floated in water. As an artist, I first utilized magnets probably in the 70s. I enjoyed building mobiles and would put magnets in my mobiles. The result of this were mobiles that never stopped moving. We're surrounded by magnetic fields. When someone turns on a light switch, a magnetic field surges across the room. When a car drives by, a magnetic field drives by. So these mobiles that I built weren't perpetual in the sense of perpetual motion, but were perpetual because we live in a world that is continuously being stroked with magnetic flux. As a kinetic artist, I have different problems that I need to solve. And the solution to some of my problems and to some of my opportunities, the solution is magnets. There are many sources for magnets. The source that I use and that I'm very satisfied with is K and J Magnetics. I will leave a link to this in the description uh, below. They ship fast. Um, I've never had anything back ordered, and to me, their prices seem extremely reasonable. Their prices, including shipping. When I first started working with the magnets, I stored them in little parts boxes and was frustrated because that just did not work well. I um, would put them into their little compartments and then when I'd reach in for one all the magnets in the neighboring compartment would pop out also. So in the end what I've done is I've um, repurposed a metal ethyl M candy box. I put a grid in the bottom of it with tape and now I store my different magnets uh, in the box and things are working well for me. It's no longer a problem. I work with magnet sizes one, they're all cylinders, I work with cylindrical magnets, and I work with diameters 1 8th, 3 16th, and 1 quarter, and I work with lengths 1 8th, 3 16th, and 1 quarter. I use a lot of uh, Baltic birch plywood, and predominantly I'm using 1 8th, 3 16th, and 1 quarter inch thick plies and so what what this means is that I can drill holes in the plywood and choose a magnet of the appropriate length and it won't protrude from the Baltic birch. The first problem that I needed to solve was on my scissor lift number two. The scissor lifts, all of my kinetic art, has bipeds, uh, little figures, that operate the machines. And they're complicated and need to be removed uh, from the mechanism as a unit, as an assembly. On scissor lift number one, I hardwired, so to speak, my little biped onto that machine. I bolted it on, and removing it and replacing it was time consuming. On scissor lift number two, <clears throat> to hold the torso on, I've used telescoping square brass tubing, and then the feet and the hands are attached with magnets. So it's very easy to remove the feet and the hand. To remove the hands and the feet, uh, 
is simple. You, they're m magnetically attached, and you just pull them apart. And the, the telescoping brass tubing uh, makes the remainder of the removal process very easy. I'm in the process of building big wheel lift number one. This is the prototype. The number ones are always the prototype. And I have a um, need to absorb the shock of dropping marbles and to absorb the shock of marbles that are they're ending the run and need to be stopped. And so I've developed some little magnetic shock absorbers that I really like. I think they're fascinating to use. They're fascinating to look at. And as an artist, they're just a little stretch um, into an area that I'd like to become more familiar with. So I'm including some video footage of these shock absorbers in action. I'm showing both real-time speed and slowed down eight times speed. Videotaping slowed down eight times is, to me, very interesting to watch. For example, it's not unusual if I'm having uh, problems with rolling marbles that I just can't understand, I'll videotape at eight times slowness and then play back the video and I'll be able to spot problems immediately. In one of the videos that um, you're going to be watching, I see, I notice a marble after it's down off the shock absorber rolling down its rail and then giving a bounce. I never noticed that uh, until I saw the video that I've recorded for you today. And so I'll be fixing that bounce. There were never any derailments there. But bounces aren't good. Eventually, they'll cause a problem.
I'd like to thank you for your interest in my automata, my kinetic art. To me, it's a, a great passion and a way to express myself, and hopefully there are people in this world that uh, will be enriched by seeing and or owning uh, some of my uh, kinetic art pieces. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.